there is only so much any human being can take, and Kate Garraway has reached that limit ten times over and then some. Her relentlessly positive attitude must be the only thing enabling her to carry on getting out of bed every morning, at 2 a.m., for Good Morning Britain, let's not forget, because even reading the new interview she is given detailing the reality of her life today is tough, let alone actually living it. The oft-quoted sentence about women who work and have families takes on new meaning with Kate. I don't know how she does it. Her previously healthy political strategist turned psychotherapist husband Derek Draper caught COVID in 2020, and even the most experienced medics have struggled to understand and treat the devastating effect it had and continues to have on his body. He has been on the brink of death many times. Today he cannot be left alone for more than a minute. He's paralyzed, doubly incontinent, can hardly communicate is in constant pain from a seemingly never-ending barrage of complex, baffling, horrendous new issues which pop up whack-a-mole style, and is, understandably, incredibly depressed. He needs 24-hour-a-day specialist medical care. Kate averages four hours sleep a night. She hasn't had a day off from looking after her husband, her two children, or both, for well over three years. She's regularly on telly, smiling and professional, as though she hasn't a care in the world, presents a radio show, documentaries, and has just written her second memoir. I worry that I'm failing on every front, at everything. But I've got to keep going and fight on for Derek, she says. The body keeps the score though. Last November, Kate woke up unable to move her arm with agonizing chest pain, and was sick all over her bedroom floor. She still went into work though, obviously, although her driver did have to stop for her to throw up along the way. At 4 a.m. Dr. Hillary Jones was called by Good Morning Britain bosses. He told them in no uncertain terms to, duh, take her straight to hospital. She was worried about getting back in time to present the show. Whisked to A&E, she collapsed on arrival. You'll be pleased to know you aren't having a heart attack right now, a doctor told her. Unfortunately that doesn't mean there isn't a problem. Proteins indicative of a heart attack had been detected in her blood. She was sent home to return in 12 hours for further tests, which the doctor was unable to do because she wasn't strong enough for stressor tests. Ironic, when her whole life is one. Most of us would assume that someone on tally is absolutely loaded, with no possibility of money worries ever. And while TV is well paid, Gates a freelancer, who couldn't work for the first five months of Derek's illness and is now determined to pay back the quarter of a million pounds her husband's consultancy company owed when she was forced to wind it up. Kate, now on one salary instead of two, also has all the normal household expenses, plus two teenagers to support. And, somehow, she is currently facing the possibility of things getting even worse. Since April 2021, she has been battling to secure the 24-hour care her husband needs to stay alive, locked in a bureaucratic war among parameters set before COVID even existed, and definitely not applicable to Derek's unique situation within that. No one's ever seen a case like his before. So we're in a world without precedent, aren't we? And money is short money is very tight and very overloaded, she confesses. One assessor told Kate that in his experience of long COVID, I bet you'll find that he suddenly gets up and walks and is back to his old self in no time. He might just be being a bit lazy, people do get like that, you know, when they have been in hospital for a long time. Kate's waiting to find out what will happen. 
Worst case scenario is that Derek's care will be reduced to one carer popping in to check on him for an hour here and there, or even worse than the worst case scenario, removed completely. It simply isn't safe for him to be left unattended, and I don't know what will happen at that point, she admits, even if I gave up my job and became his sole carer, I would have to stay awake 24 hours a day, and I don't have the specialist skills he needs. But I'm determined to keep battling the system. Not just for Derek, but for the millions of others struggling too. If I don't, who will? Kate Garraway seems to be keeping going for everyone else. Her husband and children, of course, but also for all the others in similar situations. She says, there are so many people who, through sheer bad luck, find themselves in the same shoes as me. Caring for someone you love is a privilege, and I will never give up, but I want to champion the cause that everyone in my position faces because I know people are drowning trying to navigate through the care system. We talk about a crisis but it is beyond crisis. It is very lonely and very difficult, and I at least do have that voice. And so on she goes, even as her heart appears to be literally breaking, on and on and on. What a woman! I don't know how she does it.